Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video of DIY investing. Today I wanted to go through and analyze three altcoins that are my favorite top long-term holds moving forward in this next cycle. Altcoins have really been taking off the last couple days and it's super exciting to see, especially if you're one of those people that have been actively accumulating in this time of ultimate fear. Many altcoins were falling off across the board, especially against the Bitcoin pair as Bitcoin continued in its parabolic rise, but it looks like we're finally getting some momentum back in the altcoin side and alt season has started. If you guys like my videos and want to see more of them, do this channel a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more updates in the future. If you guys like my analysis, and want to see more signals moving forward, click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're going to get access to my Discord server. There are super exciting times to be had inside of crypto and I'm super thankful for everybody that's joining my community. I'm excited to see what everybody can do with their profits and really just take their lives to the next level through cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency investing. With all that being said, let's jump right in the video today. Welcome everybody to today's video. We're gonna jump right into it. Today is an exciting time for cryptocurrency because last night we started to see some major movement inside of some of these altcoins. We had some very nice risers. XRP was a prime example of this. It jumped up to about 25% um, in the last move. And so this is very exciting times. With all of this being said, I just am super excited to see what's going to happen with cryptocurrency. It is definitely alt season and if you are not packing your bags or have not already packed your bags, then you are going to miss out significantly on some insane profit potentials to be had in this time. Today's video, we're going to go over and analyze uh, three altcoins that I am super excited about for the long term. These are three coins that I expect to be good long term holds moving forward in the next Bitcoin cycle. So. Let's get right into this by taking a look at number one on the list, which is Ethereum. Obviously, you're gonna throw Ethereum on here if you're talking for a long hold. It's been the number two cryptocurrency for how long now? And I don't find that changing anytime soon. I mean, Ripple surpassed it in market cap, but I don't feel like that's gonna necessarily change again. Maybe you see a short-term spike, but for the most part, I expect Ethereum to perform well. It's always been the driver of the alt value. It's always the leader, and I expect the same thing to happen here. So with that being said, we're going to go through here and really analyze why I expect it to be such a good long-term hold. Now, number one, it's one of the older coins. It's proven itself throughout the Bitcoin's markets. All of the ups and downs, it's been there and it's been surviving. So with that being said, you can count on it to really just be a stable coin to hold. Not only that, but it leads the alt pack. Usually always, whenever there's a major alt rally, you see Ethereum leading the way. Now with this most recent price push that we saw with Bitcoin, we saw Litecoin do that. That's why some of these older coins are good long holds is because they lead the pack. The higher cap coins usually start alt season. And then once they kind of top out, that money leaves into some of these lower to mid caps. And it's just kind of this rinse and repeat cycle that happens. So we're gonna go through here and analyze why I think these are such good long-term holds. Now, based on an Elliott Wave perspective, we finished the one way back in the day. We finished the three. And this is actually the top of the three. For the five and so this brings us to current day values we topped out at about 1500 per ethereum and then that started the retrace in which we saw all the way back down to about 84 dollars and this takes us to present days so we finished the abc retrace we've broken out of all major descending resistance and now we're starting the next cycle back up now something to note guys is the fact that this is a one, oops, yeah. This is the one, this was the three, and now we're working on the final five wave push. Now, I wanna bring up a couple points. It's hard to know exactly how high this five wave is gonna go because the thing about cryptocurrency is the fact that 
when they break all-time highs and they go into price discovery, it's practically impossible to predict the top. No one's gonna know exactly when the top is gonna be. You can put yourself at a strategic advantage when it comes to trading technical analysis, but at the end of the day, nobody really knows. Now, one thing I can say is the fact that Ethereum has followed Bitcoin cycle very closely, especially when it comes to price. In its three wave, it went from you know $5 and then topped out at just under 1500. Now, this last cycle that we saw in Ethereum looked a lot like the Bitcoin cycle that we saw back here when Bitcoin was in its massive three wave. It looks very similar where you have a massive parabolic rise before you top out and even the prices are very similar, which took us to just under $1,200 um, per Bitcoin. And so I'm expecting it to follow a similar growth trend and we could potentially see Ethereum worth 20,000. I think that that's my highest target. It's a really high target. I don't know if that's possible, but I think that it is possible. I, it's With all the volume coming in here, it's showing that there's still a lot of demand and there's lots of people buying it. We need to really see how impulsive this gets because keep in mind guys, a five wave can be very unpredictable. Five waves can be short lived. We might only see you know like a $3,200 Ethereum or the five wave could get extremely parabolic and we see you know not 100,000 a $20,000 Ethereum. And this is my most bullish case, a $20,000 Ethereum. Um, my next bullish case is gonna be about 10,000. I think that this is a likely target that we could definitely see prices ex uh, explode upwards to. Um, but like I said, guys, this is more just like a long-term hold. We don't know what is going to happen with this with this next cycle. We don't know how parabolic Bitcoin's gonna get. but. If we start thinking about this, if Bitcoin goes to, you know, let's say Bitcoin goes to $200,000, there's going to be a lot of money flooding into the cryptocurrency market, and it's going to prop these prices of these other altcoins up significantly in this time as well. So the best thing that you're going to be able to do is just kind of keep some bags put away, tucked away to the side that you just kind of forget about, just sit on them. Don't really worry about the swings in between, just hold them for the long term because we're gonna have a solid two to three years of Bitcoin just going parabolic. And we need to make sure that in that time, we're not getting caught up in the short term and we're holding on to these positions moving forward as we see kind of where Bitcoin takes us in this next cycle. We don't know how hyped this next cycle is gonna be. We don't know how crazy it might get. So the best thing that you're gonna be able to do is just put some money away and then forget about it and just hold on to it. And so the best uh, coins to do that are gonna be these ones that have been around for a long time, that have proven themselves, that we know are good long-term holds. And so this is one, this is number one on the list because it's the number two leading cryptocurrency. It's one that's following Bitcoin cycle very closely and I would expect it to continue to do so. So next up on the list is going to be number two, which takes us to Litecoin. Now Litecoin, I put this one on the list for a couple reasons. One, it's one of the oldest cryptocurrencies around. Uh, another reason is the fact that it does have a very strong fundamental case as far as adoption goes. As far as adoption goes, it's one of the more adopted coins compared to uh, the rest of the pack specifically when it comes to these cryptocurrencies. But on top of that, you have what's coming to it in August, which is the halving. Now, for you guys that do not know what a halving is, it's where the mining reward gets cut in half, and this always drives prices super parabolic, and it's what we've seen inside of Bitcoin. And so now we're gonna see the first halving inside of Litecoin. Now, what's gonna happen with that? Well, it's hard to say exactly, but I can say that based off of Bitcoin cycles, anytime we have a halving, it leads to much it leads to an explosion of value inside of the market where prices go super parabolic. And I think that that's why it's really been leading the pack thus far with the alts is because we're getting ready for its three wave. If I count the Elliott waves, this was our one, this was our three, and then this was our five. So we finished wave one. This is wave one in the cycle. This is the smallest wave that we're gonna see. This is the wave um, that really starts the hype. Smart money, smart money accumulates in this time. And what are we already seeing? Massive amounts of volume breaking out. And this is just the first little impulse up. How high it's gonna go? I think that we could see $170 Ethereum or Litecoin in this time before we finish out the one wave. And we'll have a retrace. Something like that. And then this would finish out wave one before 
we have a much larger impulse back up. And so it's hard to say exactly how high they're going to go, how impulsive it's going to get, but when things break out of all time highs, it's hard to say exactly how high they're going to go. And so when price discovery happens, there's really no amount of technical analysis that you're going to be able to say that's going to help you to accurately predict exactly where the top's going to be. The best thing that you can do is just kind of um, buy some and then hold on to it. And so as far as this technical analysis goes, it's not meant to be exact. It's meant to show you a rough example of what is going to happen inside of this market. And so this is just the one wave, guys. This is going to be a very profitable cycle um, for the upcoming move. And not only that, but you have a nice fundamental use case. Not only that, but you have a nice fundamental case with the next halving coming up. And so it's hard to say exactly how high this one's going to go. Um, price, <laughs> I always say this, guys, price is hard to predict, especially when things break all time high and go into price discovery. So like I said, guys, this is just going to be a good long term hold for the future. It's one that's been around for a while. It's proven itself throughout Bitcoin's bear markets. Um, it's one of the older altcoins at that and it's managed to stay relative throughout all of this time so i would assume that it's going to continue on that trend especially with bitcoin going super parabolic there's going to be lots of money flooding into these altcoins so litecoin is going to be a good long-term hold anytime you can put yourself in a coin that leads the altcoin pack as we saw with this move here you're going to be able to kind of have a good surety that this thing's really going to take off and strive in the next upcoming cycle just because of that simple fact Whenever a coin starts leading the alt pack, you, there's a reason why there's money flooding into it. And so Litecoin is number two on the list. We've got the halving coming up in August. That's always a super good fundamental um, push for prices to go parabolic. And we've already seen um, prices going parabolic really without anything going on inside of the market. And we've already seen these prices start going parabolic leading up to the halving. So I think that people are buying that up with the thought of, hey, when this halving comes around, it's really gonna make prices go super crazy. So we should be buying in this time. So that's one reason why I have Litecoin on the list is just for the simple fact, it's proven itself throughout the bear markets, it's proven itself throughout the bull markets, and now you have one of the strongest fundamental cases for parabolic movements inside of markets with the halving coming up. So this is one that I've been accumulating. This is one that I'm super excited for. I'm not looking to be buying anymore until we get that short-term retrace. But once we get that short-term retrace, I am looking to be adding my bag significantly because, guys, the time is now to be making a significant return on investment with these altcoins. Alt season is here. Alt season has started. And this is the best way to increase your Bitcoin stack. Now, don't go all in on alts. Always keep Bitcoin on deck. Keep the majority of your uh, portfolio in Bitcoin because you don't know what's going to happen. Oftentimes, Bitcoin will lead the pack. It'll take off and it'll lead these altcoins in the dust. And so one of the best things that you can do is just make sure you're holding on to that Bitcoin. Don't sacrifice your Bitcoin for you know a, a percent return that you don't even know is going to happen quite yet. And usually doesn't happen until Bitcoin starts retracing. So do yourself a favor. Hold that Bitcoin. Accumulate some altcoins, make some profits, take those profits and put them back into Bitcoin or tether it for the short term. All right, guys, last on the list is the great XMR. And this is one that I'm super excited for just because of the fact, same reason as Litecoin. It's an older one. It's proven itself. Um, it has a really good use case as far as being a totally private coin. It's completely decentralized. So all of this is very good for the long term, especially with people looking to get into crypto. It's following the same cycle that it did back in the day where we have a rise we have these we start to get the retrace and then we have five waves down right and then this starts the next cycle back up wave one zoom out here and this was one of the most parabolic charts that we've seen it just trended up the entire wave up and so anytime you find a coin 
that can maintain its uptrend even through Bitcoin's volatility and all that time, that's going to be very bullish overall. And I mean, look at this, guys. We just basically went up the entire bull market. So for me to hold this coin into the next one, it's got me thinking that this next cycle will be very profitable in the short term and long term future. So best thing you can do is find coins that have proven themselves. Um, find coins that have a good use case, that have uh, real adoption in the time, and then buy those and just kind of sit on them because they're gonna they're gonna perform well with Bitcoin. They've proven themselves throughout the bear markets. They've proven themselves in the bull markets. So why wouldn't you keep a small bag, keep a large bag even? These are some of the coins that you can put a little bit more risk into than you can kind of expect will perform well in the short term. Now, just like this last cycle, we saw the same thing in this bear market. We start to retrace. Then we have five waves down. One, three, five. Right? And now we're starting that next cycle up. And this next cycle is already broken out of all major descending resistance. We consolidated outside and now we're pushing back up with good volume coming in. Keep in mind, things haven't really gotten crazy with Monero yet, but I would expect them to, um, especially as Bitcoin starts retracing and that money starts to flood back into these altcoins. But this is one that is very, very good. Um, right now, it's only worth you know $82 to all-time highs. You're talking about not a super crazy return, about 500%. But this is also a coin that has pretty much the same circulating supply as Bitcoin, I think. Let's go see. You know, you've got, yeah, so about 17 million XMR, so close to about the same uh, circulating supply as what Bitcoin has currently. So this is a coin that can go very crazy and parabolic when it comes to price. Now, when this thing breaks all-time highs, who knows how high this thing's going to go? Really, though, nobody knows. I mean, if Bitcoin, goes to tw if Bitcoin went to 20K in its last cycle, what's to say Monero can't do the exact same thing? Now, I'm not going to sit here and try and call that it's going to go to 20K, but you got to keep in mind, guys, that this, this was a one wave. Once again, do you guys notice a pattern here? The older altcoins have created a one wave in this cycle. Litecoin, um, Monero, Dash is another one. These are all older coins that have been around for a while that have already finished their one waves. Now, Ethereum is just a little bit behind. It was created a little bit earlier or a little bit later than some of these coins, but we've only finished the one and the three with that. We still have a five wave to come before we top out and complete the one wave cycle. But Ethereum, or Monero, has already finished its one wave. Now, like I said, guys, I can't sit here and draw Elliott waves and say that it's gonna go all the way up to this high because when it breaks out and it goes into price discovery, it's impossible to know. But what I can say is based off of Elliott wave theory, you guys understand it enough if you've watched my channel. The one wave is what starts the hype. And then you have the three, which is the super parabolic push. And then you have the final five wave, which kind of just tops us out. So we're right here. We had the one wave. We had one, a three, and a five, A, B, C. And then if we go over here and look at it, a one, a three, a five, A, B, C. You know, like I said, guys, we don't know how crazy Bitcoin is going to go. We don't know how much money is about to flood into these altcoins. And so just keep a bag tucked away. I mean, it's worth $82. You could take $82 out of your paycheck and you could own one Monero. And who knows? Maybe this thing goes to 5000 Maybe it goes to 10000 Maybe it goes up upwards of 20000 and beyond. We don't know yet. This is all speculation. All I can do is show you guys what the count is for kind of the timing for this cycle, what fits us in an Elliott Wave perspective, because that's really the only reason why I trade Elliott Wave Theory, is to kind of see where the cycle lines up. I count my I count my waves to figure out where we're at in the cycle of things, whether we're in a one wave, a three wave, a five wave, and I'm looking to be buying the one wave because the one wave is the most profitable setup. Think about if you would have bought Monero clearing the hell down here. That would have been about a thousand x return had you held and sold the top, which obviously isn't likely. Likely, it's hard enough to hold a hundred x. If you think you're going to hold a thousand x, then you got to have the balls of steel in that time. But either way, this is the same as this. At the end of the day, this is just the one wave. 
and now we're getting ready for the most parabolic push of all. So with all that with all that being said, wanted to give you guys a quick update. With alt season, these are three coins that I expect to be very good long-term holds. Three coins that have proven themselves throughout the bear markets, proven themselves throughout the bull markets, and they're coins that I expect to continue to really just dominate the space. Um, there will be a plenty of new altcoins that make it into the top 10. There will be coins that fall out of the top 100, top 50, top 25, even top 10. Um, but I still feel like these coins here, these old ones that have proven themselves, have a good use case, are going to stay around and stick around, whereas some of these other ones won't. So these are three coins that I expect to be good long-term holds. And these are three coins that everybody should hold at least a small bag of, a small portion. You can't go wrong holding these. These are the coins that lead all season. These are the coins that have proven themselves. So, I mean, what do you really have to lose at this point? Anyways, thank you all so much for the support. I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.